I have no doubt that in the end uh, we will prevail. Things always look very bad in the beginning. Somehow they tend to work out uh, one way or the other. Nobody ever promised us a rose garden. And um, the Zionist enterprise was never an easy one. There's, uh, for those who don't speak Hebrew, uh, there's the ultimate Israeli strategic conceptualization, which is Yetov. It'll be good. It'll work itself out. Yetov, one way or the other. Thank you, Chuck. I, I think it's very important that people know and understand that while other countries might have the luxury of allowing themselves to tear one another apart, to sow division among their own people, to retreat to corners of extremism and of populism time and time again, the State of Israel, as today's events so tragically evince, is not one such country. The State of Israel must bind together it must come together. Anybody who sows division is unfit for leadership of the State of Israel. It is time that Israel rallies behind that which is dear to all of us, the Zionist cause and the Zionist future. And yes, there absolutely remains a Zionist future and a strong Zionist future and a proud Zionist future. And dare I say, a democratic and Jewish Zionist future. But first, we have to combat the dangers that are in front of us. First, we must legislate according to the most immediate threat. And the most immediate threat right now emanates from the Gaza Strip. And I believe that, thankfully, we have a fighting force that, though challenged, though perhaps hamstrung, though perhaps not training as rigorously and as regularly as all of us would like it to be, it is yet up to the task and it will prove itself to be so. I believe that in time, the State of Israel will know quiet. I do not know that we will ever know peace, but I am absolutely sure, Shebezrat Hashem, with God's help, with God's help, we will succeed. That is what I expect. I require that of our defense forces and I require that of them because I know that they are up to the task. And anybody who is sitting, teetering at home, wondering, are we seeing the destruction of Zion? I can return to you and say, emphatically not. In fact, you might be about to see it roaring at its grandest and proudest and most determined moment. So let's focus on that. Let's push this threat back and let's get to it as I know that we can. Do not despair. It's not the time for that. We will beat this back. Thank you so very much, Chuck. Thank you.